Speeding remains the single biggest contributor to road trauma on New South Wales roads. It's a factor in more than 40% of fatalities and more than 20% of serious injuries. Almost 150 lives are lost on New South Wales roads every year because of speeding. Even small increases in speed can have severe consequences. If a pedestrian steps into the path of an oncoming vehicle, that vehicle's speed can mean the difference between life and death. This controlled simulation shows that the faster you go, the longer it takes to stop. At 40 kilometers per hour, it takes 27 meters to stop. At 50 kilometers per hour, it takes 37 meters. Okay. At 60 kilometers per hour, it takes 56 Ooh. meters. And family in. A car traveling at 80 kilometers per hour takes almost 100 meters to stop. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, man. Whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Speed always increases the reaction distance and the braking distance, even if the weather and road conditions are fine. A speeding driver covers more ground between spotting and reacting to a hazard, which makes them more likely to crash. Whew. The human body can only tolerate so much force. The higher the speed, the more energy that's distributed on impact, resulting in more devastating road trauma. In a crash between a car and a pedestrian, there's a 40% risk that a pedestrian will be killed at 40 kilometers per hour, but a 90% risk of death at 50 kilometers per hour. Your speed decides the outcome and can be the difference between being able to stop in time or not at all. Your speed matters. Please, slow down.